So I'm going to do a short long for you on the difference between a good knight and a bad bishop. I often get the bad bishop in the French defence and here is my opponent with the bad bishop this time, eventually as Manoir would say. So here we go, let's have a look at this game. I'm going to run through it with the fast mode so I can talk to you about it there as well just to see how do we get in uh, I might even go slow I'm not sure I decide to go slow so as long as it's not too slow this is too slow okay so don't like that I'd rather go fast I mean, if we wanted to study it, then it would be a good way to study it slowly, but... So, of course, there's going to be improvements here, or black and white. So I'm worried about that E3 pawn. So here I'm just, uh, the score is one each or something. What? What happened there? Did I? Okay. It's all right. I didn't drop a pawn. I don't want to show you that. Get rid of my bad bishop compared to white's black's uh light square bishop so black's kind of nicely locked up here so if i don't watch it i soon come around and we and we tussle with the knight knight comes over starts to hamper the bishop on this side of the board but i can't really make much progress there but i've got this all in mind of course at all times. So now my opponent, I, I think I should play the, uh, I should play the CB, I mean the BC6, and not the B6. Unless my king was on A7. Different. Now it's curtains now. So I don't have to do a mad scramble with the clock. I do anyway. Same unknown. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that we session just seen good night versus bad bishop. Or I should say, it's good night for me.